Let's have a look at the competitors in this, the slower flight now. And we'll check out the drivers. Bob Miller, perennial Bob. 1959 he began. Bob has been a fine driver all along, but not a winner. Will Muncy, the tradition, as Don mentioned, continues in the cockpit of the Kawaguchi. There's Scotty Pierce, second year, rookie of the year, co-rookie of the year, last year in unlimited racing. A fine driver. Look for him to be strong. Brenda Jones. This water will be a bit of an aggravation for the KYYX. Brenda, however, has been improving. Jack Schaefer, the utility man. He drives a whole lot of boats, and he does it very, very well. There are fine drivers as well in Ron Snyder and uh, a few others on the beach we won't see, but Ronnie will be in the Frank Kenny. Watch him be strong. The Oboy Alberto, Brenda Jones, by the way, just getting the KYYX started with 58 seconds to spare. She is out of the course. We have six boats out of the course for Heat 1A. Again, the Oberto. Don, as we look at the Oberto, you're seeing that very level uh, bounce and splash, and that means that the rollers are coming directly at him, not uh, parallel to his direction of travel, so that really isn't all that serious. You know, when it's cloudy like this, it appears the rollers, they're more pronounced. You can see them better on television. More so than with blue sky. From our Sky King helicopter, Minute 30, minute 26 now, away from the start of Heat 1A. Here's where we'll be watching a lot of dicing. Uh, everybody keys on everybody in this class, uh, it seems, and uh, we'll watch a lot of the drivers try to figure out exactly what lane they'll want to be in, and they have to establish, as John Walters told us earlier this morning, uh, Don, they'll have to establish early because there's a very short charge to the start line. And remember, everybody, that uh, one of these boats, uh, it's very important for the points. We'll have the one-minute gun in a moment. Uh, to score heavily because one of these boats or two probably two will get into the championship heat and so for national points exactly and uh, for national points these boats are racing for half points right now in the slower heats all right here we go setting it up for 1a heat 1a some of the boats up in the turn you see there the bob miller and the miss rock the dark boat on the left the kawaguchi travel in the center and here they come around the turn way back in the back is the Kenny Toyota. They're going to come up hard from behind. Looks like the Toyota will come in on the inside. Setting it up now. The other boat's going way wide. Miller coming way wide on the bottom of your screen. The Kawaguchi and the Tempest. Those are those three boats right there. Jack Schaefer on the boat on the left. Qualifying at 111, running very consistently. Down to 14 seconds. All the boats beginning to slow down. Brenda Jones is way back in, this, in the north turn. Just coming around. Now past the exit buoy and into the straightaway. Six, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Looks like they're all okay. Getting a good start is the Kenny Toyota with Ron Snyder. Heading into the south turn. No problems with rollers right now as they head into that particular turn. Coming up now, you see Ron Snyder and the Kenny Toyota, one of the winningest holes in hydroplane history. He is not on the inside. He is on lane two as they go into that south turn. We'll get a shot now and set up the lead for you as they come out of that turn and pass the exit buoy. Snyder with a great start and in good position now as he goes into the back chute. Look at that skid spin. Dig in and throw the water in the air. On the inside now on the right of your screen, the old boy Alberto and Scott Pierce. Acceleration has never been a problem for Ron Snyder in that boat, and you can see it there. He's widening his lead already. Ron Snyder, the Kenny Toyota Volvo, first place going into the back chute. There's the second place boat. Scott Pierce, the boy Alberto, brand new boat. And there's the distance between the first and second place boats. Oh, the Kenny Toyota is rolling. They had engine problems, as Mike said, all week long. Sounded like a thrashing machine, but they're doing very well. You've got some good races back in the back, though. Third place boat right now is the Tempest. A three-second lead for the Kenny Toyota going into the north third. That boat looks very good. He had a tremendous start in Heat 1B last week with a hot boat. This week in the slow boat race. Should be a good day for him. Ron Snyder. Scott Pierce, Giovoy Alberto, second place, three seconds back, finishing lap number one. In third place, Jack Schaefer, the Tempest, Chuck Hickling's boat. They call it Noah's Ark, he's in third place. In fourth place, coming on pretty hard, Brenda Jones in the KYYX. You see the leaders, there's Brenda. Kenny Toyota, Ron Snyder, one of the best drivers around. Will Muncy just completing lap number one. Alberto has gone under the infield. They've had engine problems in the past, and now they are going in. They have gone into the infield, and I understand that this rock has also gone dead in the water up near the north third. So we have two boats out of it, and the Kenny Toyota, alive and well, doing very well. First lap, 110.5 miles per hour. Ron Snyder, that hole has won 21 different races, and he's rolling along well with that Allison turbocharged engine. 
beautiful boat. It goes back to the Atlas to pay it back. One of the best. Going back to the race for third place now. Brenda Jones on the left in the KYYX. Using a new carburetor system, a much easier system to handle to make it operate. Working very well. They've trimmed the sponsors to make it handle better. More forgiving for Brenda. And it's going very well down the back stretch. On her inside, to her left, is Jack Schaefer and the Tempest. Coming around, there is completing from their camera shot on the hill, Ron Snyder and the Kenny Toyota finishing lap two. There's Brenda Jones coming into the north turn on the inside of her. You'll see it soon. There it is, the Tempest of Jack Schaefer Jr. Good race in the north turn for second and third. Time for that second lap for Ron Snyder and the Kenny Toyota, 111.8 miles per hour. Brenda Jones using nitros for the first time last week, not using it this week, and running very well. She's holding on to second place, the best performance for her by far all year. The leader now, Ron Snyder, he's having a cakewalk now. He's already out of the south turn, going down the back suit. He'll probably take it easy. He had a 111 second lap. Third and fourth place. Going into the south turn. KYYX on the inside the Tempest. That's for second and third. KYYX going into the back suit. Brenda driving a great race. She doesn't have to stay on the outside. Going into the north turn. Coming up, here it is, Ron Snyder, your leader in the Kenny Toyota. Turbo Allison shooting around. He's got about a third of a lap lead now on Brenda Jones, who is now still in second place ahead of the Tempest and Jack Schaefer. The end of lap number three, Rod Snyder, Kenny, Toyota. He could wave to the crowd right now. Might try dropping a line, Rod Belcher, for a <laughs> one of those sockeyes. 106 was his speed for lap number three. Into the north turn are the second and third place boats. There you see it on the left is Linda Brenda Jones with the KYYX. They trim the spots so it's handling better. It doesn't hook nearly as bad on that left spot. So going down the main chute and finishing a lap number three, Brenda, Toy Brenda Jones and a KYYX. Third place, Jack Schaefer, the Tempest. One of the most consistent boats so far. Did very, very well in that bumpy water over in the Tri-Cities last week. Brenda Jones was supposed to stay on the outside last year when racing. She's been given the green light to go ahead and compete as much as she wants. She's doing very, very well. Ron Snyder, way out in front now, performing very well. As we said earlier, their engine sounded terrible all week. They barely qualified, then they went out and did a little bit better, 114. And now they've got it fine-tuned. That crew for the Kenny Toyota and, of course, the Miss Madison, all volunteers out of that town of Madison. And they're cooking. The Kawaguchi travel already coming across the finish line at the end of lap three. And coming up to complete lap four, the Kenny Toyota. The old Atlas, the old pay and pack. Some of the greatest races ever took place with that hole back in 73 and 74. Into the north third now, it's coming the KYYX as you see the leader. Ron Snyder, what a start he had. Remember that Mike Fitzsimmons last week in 1B? He was ahead of the Atlas. He was doing a marvelous job, and of course, that heat Ron is, called off. Ron has very definitely improved his starting strategy, Don, and he's really right on the money most of the time now. End of lap four for KYYX, Brenda Jones. 30-second lead now for the Toyota over the KYYX, and Jack Schaefer, Jr., completing lap four, third place, the Tempest. From Sky King, into that south turn. That's a beautiful boat. Mike and Rod, that's still one of the best looking boats in the business. That was the first boat to ever use the stabilizer wing. That's what you call pure pedigree lines, Don. All the way. Not too many rollers coming off that lock over the north turn right now. Something we had anticipated earlier, but the boat is running very well. Not any bad bouncing. Coming around to complete Heat number 1A and lap number 5. Rod Snyder, the Kenny Toyota. Jack up another one for Mr. Snyder. Don, I think in all fairness to uh, the Tempest and to Jack Schaefer, only uh, one boat gets automatically into the final heat from this class, and you've got a lot of racing to do even at these speeds. So I'm
I'm sure that there was a, a bit of a decision to conserve equipment and not challenge Brenda after she got so tough. Brenda Jones, second place for the KYYX. Best performance of history for that young lady. Good for her. That's Will Muncy in the Kawaguchi Travel on the outside. Next to her, finishing lap four. And Jack Schaefer, junior up in the north third, going around the buoy. He's one of the best drivers around. He loves that bumpy stuff. He says, we were having fun last week out on those rollers. He says, I got beat to death, but gee, we were having fun. Never went over 120 miles per hour. But he gets a third place at Heat 1A. Jack Schaefer, Jr., in the Tempest. Mr. Heckling and company. Last lap for the Kenny Toyota, 103.567. So it's obvious they want to save that Allison engine. We've got a lot of racing to do, as you said earlier. The Kenny Toyota leading from wire to wire. And Rod Snyder just continues that fine performance. Rod and Mike, awfully good boat. Very definitely an awfully good boat. I think there's more beans in that boat than she showed just this time, too. I think that the Kenny people are planning on being in that final heat, and they're going to really have to unleash something, of course, to beat the top dogs, but they are ready to do something. Let's mention again that the Oboy Alberto went dead in the water, as did the uh, Miss Rock with Bob Miller. Victory lap for Ron Snyder, a little wave to the crowd. In the back stretch is the Kawaguchi Travel, and Will Muncy's going to finish his first race ever as Brenda Jones returns to the pits. She has to be a happy young woman. What do you think about that, Mike and Rod? My goodness. The Both performance play. was excellent. It really was. Much, much better than last year. It wasn't getting loose. It wasn't breaking away. And, and Brenda really drove it very strongly. She's happy. Look there. <laughs> and remember, she had to come from fourth place, and she was way back in the dicing for the start. Her yeah. start was awful. It was a terrible start. She was way late. And she has been uh, periodically uh, throughout the entire uh, tour so far this year. But, boy, she's real happy now. Kenny Toyota coming in. Uh, Will Muncy's about to finish, and he's going to chalk up 85 points. I guess that's his first points, isn't it, Mike? That's right. That's yeah. the first finished heat for Will Muncy, and the tradition continues. This, so is, his, this is the first uh, race that he is qualified for as well. Will Muncy, fourth place at Heat 1A here on Lake Washington in the Sea Galley Emerald Cup. The fastest lap for the Toyota, 111.801 miles per hour. You know, Don, back in 1978 in Tri-Cities when uh, Ron Snyder won his first and only race to date, he didn't know how a winner was supposed to act, so he shut off the Miss Budweiser in front of the barge, and he started bowing. And he <laughs> bowed and drifted all the way back to the pits. Hey, Ron. Thank you. On behalf of Safeway Stores, oh, he won a... That's the one I wanted, too. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ron, what about the race? You really had no problem. It looked like uh, things were going very smoothly for you. Well, things kind of messed up a little bit on the start down there. We all was a little bit too early. I was afraid everything was going to close up on me like it did over Tri-Cities last week, so I wasn't going to take any chance, so I came in with them. One of the uh, uh, concerns of almost everybody here this morning was the choppiness of the water. That seems not to be a factor now like it was early this morning. Well, it's still rough over there. Most of it is, you know, it's always right out here, that end of the, the corner, then halfway down the back chute. It's still rough. You know, and, uh, well, we got a boat that can take it now. As long as I can stay in the seat, we'll keep our foot in it. What about uh, the race itself and your driving and the handling of the boat? Any problems there? I mean, it didn't look like it, but were there any? No, really. It's just a super riding boat. And I wish George Hanley was here to, to see how it's running now since he was the first one to drive it. So it's neat. I like the boat. I always said I was going to drive this boat someday. Here I am, so I'm just tickled to death. One of the little jokes this morning was that uh, before the bud went out to qualify that you guys might get bumped down to the, the slower heat, as they're calling it, the heat that you just won. And the joke was they came over and asked you if it was okay if they tried to beat you. <laughs> well, I talked to Bernie about it yesterday. He says, you know, since we're coming in so late and trying to get in a race, he says, where do you want to be? And I said, Bernie, it don't make any difference. You're, you got a boat just like mine. You can't run it slow. you got to run it fast. So, and you did, and you won a plaque for it, too. Yes. To Dick Linger. Right. 